We gather here today for a rather special occasion. Vice-Chancellor Cooper is being introduced to a new addition to the library staff. is just to the left after you enter the turnstiles by the circulation desk. Okay, wonderful. That's very good direction. Eh? Where's the circulation desk? Where's the, the circulation, circulation desk? I need to retain some books. Where's the <laughs> circulation desk? <laughs> oh, she's shy now. Where's the information Welcome. desk? Tell me about the library. I think I am smart. I know it you seems are. that I am wrong. Oh. <laughs> Where is the auditorium? The auditorium is just to the left after you enter the turnstiles by the circulation desk. Okay, I think I'll go there now. <laughs> Tell me about the library. The library of the University of Pretoria is regarded as one of the best university libraries in South Africa. It provides a comprehensive information service for the university students and staff members. What is research data management? Research data management, or RDM, is a term that describes the organization, storage, preservation, and sharing of data collected and used in a research project. It involves the everyday management of research data during the lifetime of a research project. For example, using consistent file naming conventions. It also involves decisions about how data will be preserved and shared after the project is completed. For example, depositing the data in a repository for long-term archiving and access. I need to upload my dissertation. I am neither a meatarian nor a vegetarian, but I am a foodie. Actually, have some students interact with us all. He asked questions. Welcome. How are you? I am fantastic, and you? I'm sad. What can I do to help? I need some advice. Sure, what can I help with? Tell me more about the library. What can I do for you? <laughs> Tell me about the library. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> what services does the library have? Whenever you come to the library, you always discover some new and exciting stuff. 
So instead of just having a dedicated light, we don't have a thesis organization that gathers dust on the shelf and hopes something to be a thesis will be served and now be available and display the more potential that we have. In addition to that, we can also then set options where she can questions and answers and we can have some exit polls. This is an example we can actually have a run dedicated client survey so we can get feedback from I have clients. a question for you. So she will just walk around and ask you what is your experience with the library so far and then you can select your answer and you'll see on her face that she's actually quite happy with some of the answers. That Thanks. And just shows a little heart. <laughs> and, then, and then she's got some other features as well where we can change that on a regular basis. So she's operated by the cloud, she's connected to IBM Watson, so she does the voice recognition, language recognition and connects it to the library set of services, so she checks against that regularly. So we're going to open up a lot more features with her, but she basically lasts the whole day, so she can operate the whole day, uh, full charge on the whole day. And she will get smarter as we go along. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, um, definitely connected to AI. Yeah. And as I mentioned, now we're going to integrate with even more advanced artificial intelligence systems as we go along. So, it's, uh, I think it's a first for us in terms of using robotics and artificial intelligence for service delivery. So, we also have some learning to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and herself as well. Yeah, yes, yeah. But I'm sure you'll be proud to hear or to know that we're the first lab in South Africa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. you might be seeing more of it. Yes. 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 So keep in mind what we do. Oh, you, want to you know you want me to turn around. I need that photo. <laughs> I have a question for you. Library. We are honored to have you here. Please yeah. enjoy your time here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. So facial recognition, 3D cameras right there in front, over there, motion sensors, the battery runs flat, she goes to charge by herself, so we don't even need to look into the battery life, she walks and finds the charger, and just connects itself, projecting in the back of the head right there, so projecting is on your on the video as well. <laughs> That's fine, we, we, we also, the, the principal must pay attention to us as yes, well. <laughs> 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 University of Pretoria. What, what are you studying? Oh, um, we're studying BA drama. Yeah. Um, and, and then literary theory. Cool. So, what do you guys think about Libby? Libby. Well, I'm proud that she's a female. Yes. That's that was the first thing we saw. Well, heard that was that she's a female, and I think it's really cool that South Africa is actually evolving with the world and taking on something like this. Yeah, new challenges. It's very interesting. <laughs> Obviously, they need still improvement, mm -hmm. but um, I'm very impressed. It's cute. It's very cute. It's, yeah. it's a step forward. Yeah, I definitely agree that it's quite cute. 
and um, it was just fun to see it. Probably won't use it. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it exists. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. just it's not. Um, they have to. They, obviously, improvements like with African accents and even us, um, you know, improving those that they can understand <laughs> our accents as well. So would you guys be more likely to ask a librarian for help, or would you ever possibly in the future approach Libby? I would approach her if if she if if she obviously if she's helpful. yes if she's helpful because like they were asking her some questions which she couldn't answer because she's not programmed that well yet so but obviously if she could then I would definitely go up to her and ask her and what would you guys if you could ask her anything what would you like to ask Libby <laughs> well to tell me a joke. <laughs> Especially I'd when we're looking for books. Yeah, yeah, I'd definitely yeah. just ask her to get the books for me because yeah. sometimes it's a hassle. Yeah. If she can do that, sure, I'll use it. Or Send if she can Libby tell us exactly where exactly the book that we're looking for is, yeah. you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm Ricardo Tuxera reporting live for PDBY. Please tune in again at 2.30 when we interview Libby's creator, Isaac. Thank you.